kid, this is the real finale. <laughs> uh, it's finale part two. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's a four-part playthrough. So, so who so really gives a shit? Are we? Are we in the last? Wait, where are we in this map? Are we about to hit that skull? Oh, yeah, it's spooky. it's the last it's the last level. It's a, this is it. It's the final countdown. You probably want wanted me to say that at some point. Did you? No. Did you? I don't care. Oh. I wanted you to get that one man, but you didn't get the one man. Well, yeah, because I'm dumb. Anyway, you know, I, I remember seeing, um, I've always had this picture when I was a kid of, um, you know, one man's are just heads of the character on these retro games. I've always thought about, like, how, imagine, like, someone actually, like, ripping their head off and, like, the bloody intestines come out and they stick the new Mario I think people on. have already made, like, memes yeah. of, like, the Mega Man heads for the lives, too, That's, yeah. which, which is kind of funny. Well, if funny. it's, like, human, like, it actually, like, not, like, screwed off, it's human, dude. Like, for he, Mega Man's head? Yeah, he, like, ripped his actual human head off. Not, but, like, but Mega Man's a robot, though. That's true. That's why I was like confused for a second. Like, like, that's another thing. We're talking about beauty and stuff. Okay, so like, have you seen the ads for the new Buzz Lightyear movie, dude? Yeah. I always thought that Buzz Lightyear was bald. I don't know why. I just always assumed he was bald. And now I see him with hair, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. I've always thought he shaved his head. Right, cause like, I guess with or the way, I guess the way the way the thing goes over his head, it look. How would he have hair under that? It's so stuck. I, to his I, head. You would figure like it would kind of poke out or something. You no, know? like or it's just like I don't know. He always look, to me. He always looked like he should have been bald. Or maybe it's an older Buzz Lightyear, and like he you know he probably nah. lost the hair over time. I don't know. Did you ever watch the Saturday Night cartoon with him? The, the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably resonated as soon as I said that too. Yeah. But like, yeah, no. I wonder if it's going to make any references to that or is uh, or, or is Pixar going to completely forget about that? that because... I think they're going to completely forget about it to be honest. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. That, um, let's be honest. I don't think a whole lot of people. Watch well, it was that such show. a cheesy show. <laughs> I, mean, I don't see like I I I mean it, it probably was a good show. I just it came out at a time when I I don't think I really truly appreciated right. cartoons yet, and uh, like I I I. I, I don't have many recollections. I, just, I don't have many recollections of it besides that one VHS tape that had like the pilot episodes on it. All I remember is that it was the show that came on before Reese's came on, and that show was my shizzle. I feel like Reese's was everyone's shizzle. That, that's like the, that's like show. the one ABC Kids show that everyone <laughs> has to bring up at some point or another. It's a great show. The movie was really good too. But didn't the guy who made that go on to help create like Codename Kids Next Door too? Did he? I don't remember. I know he had. I think it was. I think like. He got. I think. I don't remember what show it was exactly. I think he got dissatisfied with the way one show was going on like Nick or whatever. Oh boy, we got our pit and, vipers dude right here. And then like he went to go make recess out of spite, and that's how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I think the noise crush is kind of cool though. Because Jump! Oh, I, just, I got you! I got him! I'm sorry. Kid. Are you trying to draw out this playthrough? I just. I just. just. <laughs> no, I think the noise crush is really cool for sp for speed running because, like, if you, if you time it right, you can actually slide right into it and. It's basically free super power yeah. charge shots. You're saying that this is gonna be a hard this boss rush. We might as well put music over it. But it seems like you're slaying. I it didn't say the boss rush was going to be hard. I said the final boss that's after it's going to be hard. And is it, it? and it's yeah no it, it, I'm serious like it's it's pretty notorious in the Mega Man community for being one of the most unforgiving punishing final boss fights ever. In Mega Man or in gaming history? Just I don't know about gaming history, but like yeah for Mega Man definitely. Okay. Well, you got this. You said you've played this game since this is your favorite, so you're going to get in one try, right? Oh, yeah, and this is considered a bad run for me, so, like, how how I've been playing so far. <laughs> it's okay. But it's okay. We all have our struggles. Okay. We've been drinking vodka with Fruit Punch. Which is, like, a pretty good combination, actually. Yeah, I know. I can't complain. I like uh, vodka with things that are very fruity. 
See, like, I, I, I was kind of surprised you brought up the suggestion because I know you're not normally into sweet stuff all that much. I, I'm into sweet things, it's just not too sweet. Because, yeah. like, Minute Maid is very sweet, you know? Yeah, it is. I, I, I forgot how sweet it was until I poured it, and I was like, oh, wow. I don't know what it is, like, really sweet thing. I guess because I didn't eat a lot of that when I was younger. I ate mostly rice and beans. Oh, I thought we were talking about drinks. <laughs> oh, just in general. Just like, yeah, sweet drinks are... I like beer, man. Like, I wish I could come over here and bring beer, but Kim won't drink beer with me because he don't like it. I don't like the f I don't like the taste, dude. I think you just haven't had... You need to go to an actual brewery with me and get some real beer. I'll get you, a, like, a something dark. I bet you you would like a stout. It almost tastes like coffee beer. You get what I'm saying? Have you ever had a stout before? Nope. You would like a stout. Okay? Just take my word on it. You would like it more than a beer, at least. I don't know if you'll love it, but you'll like it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You would. What does it taste like? Is it bitter? It's, it's a darker beer. It's not bitter, but it... When I taste it, it almost tastes like coffee. But it tastes... Imagine coffee, but... So it's something... What you're saying is that... You it's think a darker it's, taste. You think it's something I would like if I mixed it, right? No, it's something you like straight up. Oh, okay. Porters are also like stouts, but they're less... They're more on the beer side. I like porters. I love hoppy shit, like IPAs, man. As someone who works in a bar a lot, like, I know a lot of beers. For better or worse, right? I think it's for better. I mean, like, my selection in the fridge is better. I get you. <laughs> I don't just have Budweiser in my fridge anymore. Anyways, final boss time. It's a two phaser. First hey, phase you beat him. Look how slow this shit is, dude. Also, I got through that boss rush a lot more cleanly than I thought I would, but <laughs> I, I think I feel like I've been chock full of surprises this entire playthrough. Like I, I didn't think I'd. Fuck Wiley up. looks good, dude. I didn't think I'd fuck up as many times during the. The Wily Castle run. So did the, I were they did, inspired like, by like professors for certain characters? Like was Wily like Einstein or something? I think Mega Man was actually inspired by, by Astro Boy. Astro Boy, but like the scientists, they kind of look like real life scientists. They don't look. They look like normal people. Were they inspired by famous scientists? Like, cause Wily like doesn't he have like a German accent? Um, in the cartoon, I don't know about officially. And, and besides, I say that loosely when I say the cartoon because, like, you know, they American adaptations and their silly I didn't dubs. <laughs> I didn't but I do, I do dig Wiley's German voice in, in the cartoon. I though. didn't know he had a cartoon. Yeah, it's basically about on the same scale as that Zelda cartoon we were talking about in one of the earlier playthroughs. Can't be that bad, is it? Um, it's got a bunch of cheesy one-liners. That's great. Put, put one up right now. I'm going to make paper dolls out of you! Oh Which one God. did you put up? I don't know. I probably put up a cut man meme. <laughs> cut man meme? Yeah. <laughs> I'll make paper dolls out of you, Mega Man. <laughs> that's great. That's great. <laughs> See, that's already better than the Zelda cartoon. <laughs> 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 Come on, princess. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously. I hate how Link is like literally like a fucking teenager in that movie. His hormones, man, they're driving him crazy. No, it's just the way he talks, he sounds like a fucking valley teenager dude. Like it's just like it makes no sense. He's probably he sounds like he skateboards. Do you think Link skateboards? In a different time and era, maybe. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he literally, his voice sounds like he skateboards and reads Thrasher magazine. I mean, like... Doesn't yeah. fit. Well, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, but it's still a very notoriously difficult fight because leading to projectiles, you don't have a lot of room to guide them, and you have to be... Really spot on with wh how you get them. Bro, just beat them so I can eat my barbecue sandwich, fool. Well, if, <laughs> hey, if it makes you feel better, this is a good run so far. 
I just have to not fuck up. The people on the internet don't need to see me when I'm hungry and mad, dude. Ah! I am like the worst freaking masher you've ever met. Really? I cannot mash out of things to save my life. I can do it. That's why I beat you at Mario Party in the mash offs. I thought that was Adam that beat me. Or was uh, that you two? It was me. I taught Adam how to mash. That was a cute little Halloween party we had. We were expecting more though. Oh, I, I could have just slid under that. Oh, dude, come on. Just beat him, dude. Look how much he got. Stop getting hit, fool. This boss is hard. I'm telling you how to play the game. Stop doing that, fool. Well, he's he's already on one slither of Just life hit him. anyway. Watch. Hit him. It'll be over. I have to not get hit by that, though. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. There okay. you go. Are you happy? See, but that's exactly what I told you to do. He's going to fall out, is he? But you weren't the one telling me how to guide the projectiles. Look, he won! Or did you? So this is apparently an error on the localizations part. Because so no. Mega Man says something that um, some people may feel kind of mixed about. But I it, don't trust you, Wiley. I'm gonna do what I should have Oh, hey, they translated right ago. into the Le Legacy Collection. Ha! <laughs> Dang, dude. I think Mega Man... Mega Man is totally more human than Robot because that shows that he has emotions. Well, he's pissed off because he's let Wily slip away. Yeah, but six robots, times. robots. Oh, this line right here was not in the Japanese I version. I am more than a robot. See what I'm saying? He feels emotions. And the in the original robot. Japanese version, that was literally just dot dot dot, and that one line alone, you know. It could interpret a character completely differently. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has emotions like a human. He's got a human soul. I don't know. Like, uh, some people don't like that. Uh, I feel like, at this point, Mega Man... Like, Mega Man's the kind of person who doesn't want the fight unless he has to. And I feel like, in that case, like, I feel like Wily... This is the seventh game in, so, like... Well, I mean, wouldn't you been, be driven to your... Like breaking point two. Yeah, you, but if, if you... I'm I'm not a robot. I was born with a soul. That means Mega Man, in some way, shape, or form, got a soul. Yeah, I mean that was the whole point of Mega Man being designed the way he was. He's supposed yeah. to be a robot that can think and make his own decisions. It's just there's certain restrictions like the whole he can't kill humans rule that kind of get in the way of his yeah. programming because it goes against it. But that's something that. The Reploids are designed for in the X series, yeah. and that's why they they have more free will in that, and then that has its own, you know, internal conflicts or whatever. But anyways, that is the end of Mega Man Seven. If you guys want to see more Mega Man, you hit you hit us up, give us a like, comment. And do hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get some notifications because cool. I know I know no I know YouTube it's kind of shitty when why it comes to still, notifying why people. Why is he still mad? He just beat him. I don't know. I just kind of like pictured this as him being a badass. Uh, this is good. This he's is good. got issues. He's about to go to therapy. That's kind of deep. His, anyway, so, actually, his face did it change a little bit while I was walking. Seven isn't quite as refined in the sense that it takes ideas and expands upon them, but rather it plays around with a lot of different ideas, and I feel like for the most part they really work. And I don't know, like Seven was a game I thought I would completely dislike, you know, you know, kind of like how popular opinion leads you to believe. But honestly, I just. It's one of the it's one of the few games I really enjoy that it's hard to put into words why I love this over the other classic Mega Man games. Oh yeah, exactly. Like I know you were just we were just talking about that earlier in the playthrough or something. Yeah. No. But it's like I don't I don't know. It's the music. I like I like I kind of like the style of like I kind of wish there was more games like this where you go out and find like different secret collectibles and it had all the Easter eggs and you know the, the different ideas that they shove in and 
play around with and it, it I feel like there's a lot of versatility in this game that I don't usually see to the degree I do in other Mega Man games, whereas in those, they usually have one idea and just expand upon that and they yeah. keep it that way. But, like, ugh. Anyway, I, I love Mega Man 7. It's a game I can... It's one of the few games I can think of I can come back to. We play, never get bored. I love this game to pieces. It's definitely my top five of favorite Mega Man games ever. Cool. But, uh, I don't know. What are your favorite Mega Man games, Dylan? They all blend together because I played the collection. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> like, I think if I had to list off my favorites... It's I probably think... three, four, five, six. I don't know. I you guess... know what I mean? They all blend together because I played them all at once. Yeah. I think if I had to rank them, seven would be my favorite. And then probably either nine or eleven. And then four. And then three. And then, um, and then probably two, uh, well, that ten. no, no, not two. I would put five after three. Sorry. Five and then two and then 10 and then like, one. um, and then six and then one and then six and then Mega Man. No, 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 no. Bef I would put Mega Man in base and then six. And then one, and then like Mega Man Eight. I don't. Mega Man Eight's probably the only classic Mega Man game I don't like. <laughs> oh, I get that. Yeah. Well, this is the end. Is it? oh, is this the end of the credits? Nah, not yet. But uh, let type down in the comments below because I change my opinions every so often with Mega Man. But I feel like Seven's kind of stuck around as my favorite. But let what tell me, guys, what is your favorite Mega Man game? Tell me why it's your favorite Mega Man game. Hopefully you'll do one hell of a better job explaining why than I could. But, um... Yeah, I'd be down to do some X games. Maybe some Legends games. Maybe some Zero ZX games. I don't know. I don't want to do it all at once, obviously. But I am very passionate about passionate about this series. Um, it's my favorite platformer. You know, that isn't a Metroidvania, so... I just, I don't know. Mega Man just kind of hits the right bells and whistles for me as far as, like, what I look for in a game series with a lot of replayability. So. Yeah. Anyways. That is it. That has been Mega Man 7. This has been I, Gaming Nobad. Yep. <laughs> in DPW. And thank you for, for watching. playing and watching. See you guys later. Later.